What are you trying to do? You trying to feed me? I don't I don't want that out of your beak. Alright, I'll let you feed it to me, alright? You gonna do it? Oh. Hey guys, Disembodied Brock here to give a special shout out to our top tier patrons on Patreon and let you know that we have some amazing Toucan merch. This all goes to help the birds and I out exponentially and we cannot thank you enough. If you'd like to help in other ways and enjoy the channel, please make sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell. We hope you enjoy and maybe learn a thing or two about toucans. Hey guys, what's up everybody? So we're back again with another fruit review and I just scared Beatrix. Hey guys, what's up everybody? So we're back again here with another fruit review. Maeve can hardly contain herself. And she is now pulling on the mic. This time we have the fan requested mangoes, which is an obvious choice. Oh, Tupac. What's wrong? Everyone's out. Uh, can we get Beatrix in here? Yep, there she is. Hey, stop pulling on the microphone. Stop it. Stop. Can you guys behave for a second, please? Just for three seconds. Look, you're pulling the thing, pulling the little windsock thing off the microphone. Look, we got mangoes. Maeve, look. Look at this. We'll go say hi to Tupac. Hey, Tupac. What's up, buddy? Are we gonna be in focus here? We have mangoes. We're gonna cut these, we're gonna cut these bad boys up and give them to all three of the toucans and see if they like them. Uh, I believe Maeve and Tupac have had them before. Not sure about Beatrix though. But we're gonna do a full... Stop, okay, how are you able to find every microphone possible? Huh? I have two microphones going right now. One to record the birds and the other to record my voice better. And she's found both of them. But we're gonna, we're gonna take the time to cut these up. Oh, I dropped them. To cut these up. <laughs> Why are you so needy right now? Look, Maeve's already pecking at it. You wanna keep pecking at it? I tried to film this the other day and they weren't ripe. So we had to, uh, You're already sticking your beak in there? We had to uh, redo it, wait for them to be ripe, and then redo it. <laughs> so uh, I, I spent, I wasted a lot of time. I wasted a lot of time, but we'll, we're gonna get it done. Maeve, holy crap. I think Maeve might like it. Look, she's already... Look, maybe we'll leave one out for them to actually try to tear into themselves. You're just throwing it around everywhere. Okay, we're gonna cut it up. Now that we've gone through the whole ordeal of trying to chop this with uh, Maeve constantly pestering me, <laughs> we have them. We have mango. So let's see. Let's see how the birds react to them. And we're going to flip this camera around so you don't have to look at me anymore. Maeve, look what I have. Oh, don't worry about this, guys. Just root beer. I'm not drinking on the job or anything. Come on, you know me better than that. <laughs> Tupac is looking on very intently. Let's give it a let's give it a try. Hopefully the there's not too much sunlight in here for the video. We'll let Maeve try it for first here for forced. Can I speak today? Would that be good? Here. How about that? Looks like it's a hit so far. Tupac.
All right. Oh crap, I dropped it. Oh. That's all right, buddy, here you go. We're gonna try to keep the camera actually in focus. How about that? Stamping his feet in anticipation. Well, that's an immediate, M Maeve, stop. Let's try one more. Wow, okay. That's I think that's one of the best responses we've gotten so far. We're gonna we're gonna do Maeve here and then we're gonna bring Beatrix over. And this is the normal mangoes, so if they go over well, which they are so far, we can try the other variants too. Well, Maeve's going to inspect her graveyard, her watery graveyard for her toys. Let's go take a look at what she's done lately. Maeve, what are you toys doing in there? <laughs> you sure do like to ruin toys, don't you? Perfectly good toys. She likes to dip them in the water and pretend to drown them. Like the good little hunter she is. I don't want to see any bird violence between you two, okay? No more. Stop it. Stop. Yeah, I'm talking to you, that's right. <laughs> Do I need to continue recording so we can get some footage for a fencing video later? Oh, there goes Maeve. Beatrix is the victor. Hey, Beatrix, look at this. You wanna try this? Look. It's good. Maeve, look at this. You know they like it when they toss it around on the tip of their beak for that long. Or if they gobble it down straight away. <laughs> we might have to try Beatrix in her enclosure so she feels more comfortable. Maeve is all about it though. Maeve is just sitting here posing like a little model waiting for me to feed her mangoes. And I had to switch, if the audio sounds different, I apologize. I had to switch from the other camera because it was kind of freaking Beatrix out. And we want her to be able to try it too, so. Oh, dropped it, here. What are you doing? I was just telling everybody you liked it, now you're dropping it on the floor? What about this one? There you go. You want another one? <laughs> Good girl. You're being good right now. You're being good for a change? Sitting here looking like a cute little burb? All poofy? Very stretchy. All right, well, let's give Tupac one again. Yeah, there you go. Wipe all the sugary juice all over the couch. <laughs> there you go. Big bite. 
Let's try Beatrix. Look, I know, I know you'll like this if you just try it, okay? Look, I know you're scared, I'm sorry. We might have to just let Beatrix try it in her enclosure, because I think it just... She'll eat stuff out of my hand if she has enough time to kind of warm up out here. And I think it just the whole commotion of recording and stuff freaks her out a little bit. She might feel a little more comfortable in her enclosure since she's uh, been cage bound and stuff like that. And that's stuff we're working on, obviously. If you're a regular viewer, you know that. But um, Tupac and Beatrix both have complicated backgrounds and histories that make them... Uh, a little more difficult to work with sometimes. Well, Tupac's actually always easy to work with, but it's mainly just Beatrix. Why do you keep dropping this on the ground? Are you getting full now? You are, aren't you? Well, this has been a entire day ordeal, not including the failed filming from before when the fruit wasn't ripe. So I gave Beatrix some time to chill out, and since she feels way more comfortable in here, as you can see, um, I'm gonna put the mango in her bowls here, and we're gonna see if she likes it. Or in her bowl, excuse me. Okay, look, yeah, th there she likes it. Was that so difficult? Could you not just do that outside of the enclosure? <laughs> It'd be way easier to film. There, we can stick the... F okay, that's nice. And I'm using my phone now, again, so she doesn't get freaked out. You gonna be alright? You can see she's way more active in her enclosure, and unfortunately, it's probably gonna be a long while before she recovers from that. Um, that barrier is still there between... Oh, is maybe trying to actually give her something? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> That barrier is still there. I will probably remove it soon, or maybe put a mesh, like a plastic mesh there instead. Since they're being more friendly together. But, uh, yeah, Beatrix likes, everyone loves the mango. Maeve loves the mango. Beatrix loves the mango. Tupac loves the mango. Uh, our most highly reviewed fruit yet, I would say. So we're going to go back to Tupac. And... We'll uh, give the final verdict. <sighs> well, <laughs> we're away from the crazy ones now. So, I'm going to try it. You want some? Okay. Hold on. If the video is choppy, you guys know why, and I apologize. We're just going to have to work around Beatrix to the best of our abilities um, <laughs> until she's uh, a normal... A normal toucan. So, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to feed me? I don't. I don't want that out of your beak. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I don't want to encourage you to. Uh, <laughs> and do any sort of courtship rituals. I'm not the one for that. <laughs> I feel really bad now. <laughs> all right, I'll let you feed it to me. All right. You gonna do it? Oh. Wow. Seriously? Can't believe this, dude. Alright, well, we'll try our own piece. Oh. That's an exceptionally good mango. Okay, this needs, we need a specific rating for enthusiastic fruits that they like, we all like. Mango gets four golden cans. Golden cans, that's right. Not just four cans, golden ones, because they're all very enthusiastic about liking it. You want it? Ooh, that's good stuff, isn't it? 
Uh, mango is pretty high in sugar, though. So, this is a treat. This is a treat fruit. Oh, careful, buddy. Oh, did you drop that into the abyss? We're going to have to dig out in a second. Yeah, you did. This is a treat fruit and should probably not be a normal part of their diet by any means. Every once in a while, fine. Toucans are prone to getting diabetes because of the high sugar content and domestic fruits later in their life. So um, try to minimize as much sugar as possible because the fruits they eat in the wild are nothing like we have here. But anyways, that's it guys. Four golden cans for the first time. I think that's our first four, full, full four, <laughs> full four golden cans. And our four, our first, oh man, I cannot say that. It's a tongue twister. First full four cans. Yeah, even non-golden. But I think if they, if they're extremely enthusiastic about liking it and they're not just eating it, we should, we should give a special rank to that. Do you want this? You're not hungry anymore? Okay. Anyways, guys, make sure to smash like for more fruit reviews. Leave some recommendations for fruit or suggestions in the comments. We'll do them as soon as possible. I'll try to do these more regularly because they're a lot of fun to do when the birds cooperate. But anyways, guys, we will see you next time. And what can I say other than have a great rest of your day?